everyone, my name is Cindy and I'm back for an antique update. Today we are at the Antique Barn in Abington, Virginia. I make these videos for my sister so she can see uh, the antique store. I know there's a lot of people out there that are not able to get out and are housebound. And I hope you enjoy everything you see. Here we have a beautiful sled. Um, price wasn't too bad on it. It's $75 for a Yankee Clipper. They have a lot of stuff outdoors. Um, before you even go into the store, a lot of outdoor things. Uh, all kinds of whatever you could think of. This was really cool. A little pricey, but... You can find some odd things here. You definitely have a, a Noel blow mold. And that was $22. It was a very good price. I don't know if it worked or not, uh, but that's really reasonable. We got some gingerbreads here. Not too bad. Um, depends on what your budget is and what you're looking for for the home. Those are great for that. There was another big sled that was painted on. You got a scale here. Watering cans, all kinds of outdoor things for the garden and the house. A couple of uh, wagons here. The tiny wagon is really cute, but it was definitely a little pricey. Uh, $49, it was tiny. But definitely great for decorating. And now we're going to step inside. Not as many wreaths as I had wanted. Um, I was looking for something specific. I didn't find it. Here you got some old doll clothes. This one was over $100, that one right there. It is an antique, but that, that, I thought that was a lot of money. I was looking for a print in a frame. They definitely had a good selection, but they were really pricey uh, on some of their items. And I'm just, you know, everybody has their budget of what they're willing to spend. Uh, that one there was really expensive. Here's a tiny one. But they were pretty. Uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. Nice assortment of little frames and pictures. That one was really nice. This was the only booth where I really saw any prints that I liked, uh, but just out of my budget. Um, you know, I could print something up and put it in a frame, but I was looking for like more of a Christmas scene, and you really have to look for this. This set was really nice, but that set was $125, I think. Yeah, it was a lot, well over $100, but it was pretty. You see anything you like? <laughs> I was really going in here looking for a print and a frame, Christmas scene, and a donkey. And that's just a, a whole different story. But they didn't have any donkeys that I saw. There's a nice case with all kinds of uh, antique jewelry. There's a big blow mold of a Santa. It was a nice one. Um, it was, you know, it was pricey. But it, it was in good shape. It was tall. It was definitely a big one. I did see it, uh, several blow molds. So I was very surprised at that. Lot, lots of blow molds. You got more pictures there, but just not the scenes I was looking for. You got, you got some furniture. Uh, you got another blow mold of a candy cane here. And that wasn't too expensive. It was different. I don't recall ever seeing one like that. Uh, you got a lot of books and magazines here. Some of the older ones. You got some Tupperware. Some Corningware. Uh, you know, some kitchen items. Dishware. You got a couple of wreaths. But the wreaths you could not see the prices on. And they were so high up that I didn't want to... Go find someone in the store to try and find out what the prices were. I really like this picture. It was a great price, $14, and that was because it had a chip in it. So 
I left that behind. They make great displays. You can put stuff in them. And here's some of your older bulls, uh, some of your shiny brights. Not a whole lot. Usually this booth has a lot. Um, they didn't really have that much this holiday season as far. They got the one putt house, putt's house here, but that was newer. Definitely not an older one. And I was you know, checking out prices and things like that. But that definitely wasn't an older one. There's a lot of reproductions out there, so you really have to be careful. You got some bottle brush trees, tons of those, uh, some Christmas glasses, little knickknacks and things like that. It's definitely a lot of uh, mix and match. They still had some Halloween and some boots. some cookie cutters um, they aren't the old ones though those were definitely newer a couple odd pieces they had the little deer there but that three dollars it definitely wasn't old it, like I said there's a lot of reproductions out there got a cute little snowman there tree got a nice leather jacket here couldn't find a price though some of the things you just couldn't find a price. You got some old quilts and you got a lot of kitchenware here. Um, you got the frosted fruit. Not too bad. The kitchenware. Those were different. Uh, there's another wreath that was kind of plain. This booth had a lot of... Um, Ornaments and little ceramics. Uh, just depends what you're working for. The boy and girl there was really cute, but they were $24 for the pair. Um, you just have to know your price points and what you're willing to pay and what you're not. And there's a little Santa figure. It's cute. A lot of old kitchenware here, accessories, and things for the kitchen. Some things, like I said, just weren't priced. Um, so some people go in the stores, they move prices around, they take prices off. I, you know, it's definitely not the booth owners, I don't think, half the time. It's the people going through the store. Had a lot of... Uh, Cookie jars here, some of the older ones. They're ceramic, heavy duty. They're cute, you know, some people collect them. More kitchen items. I like the smiley face, it was cute. That that's, reminds me of the 70s. It was pricey though. It was in good condition. You got some more cookie jars here. Definitely a wide selection. That was a puzzle put together in a frame. It was really cute. It's fun to see different things in the store like that. And there's more of the cookie jars that they had a lot of that in this booth. Some of them are funny. Maxine always makes me laugh. I had some Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. Got some old blankets. They had a couple wreaths, just not my forte. They had a couple prints there, but they were expensive too. Lots of postcards. Um, we really had your pick. There were so many you could choose from. And that was in several booths. It wasn't just one booth. It was several of them. It just depends what you're looking for. You got to be careful with the postcards too because there are a lot of reprints out there. So, so you do have to know what you're looking for there. At $55 for this display, I mean, it was more postcards. 
And those are definitely reprints. They're not old original postcards. Pretty. We got some kitchen dishware here and cast iron. This was really cool. This was a rack of shot glasses. I really like the rack they were in. I was on a spinner. They were kind of cool. And the shot glasses, they were reasonable, like $250 a piece. They were inexpensive. I just really like the display. We got some hats there, some old books. Some of the books are really cool. had some frame photos of some of the older famous people. We got more some more cookie jars there. You got your Pyrex. Definitely high priced in this booth. You have to know your prices on the Pyrex too. More cookie cutters. You had some uh, metal displays. Those are definitely reprints. They're not originals. None of them were priced. Like I said, it's hard to, um, they were cute though. They had some kitchen displays and cookie rolling pins and stuff like that. They were cute. Those were like $10 a piece. Those were pretty. Not too, not too bad. They didn't light up though. Now these spatulas were cute. I've seen them before, but they wanted like ten dollars for one spatula. Oh, that was a little pricey. This depends what you want to pay for something. Ten ninety nine. You could buy those cheaper elsewhere. They're not old. They're just reproductions. Got your farmhouse. Bells didn't jingle on those. <laughs> a couple more Pyrex pieces, more farmhouse decor. They call it bowl fillers. I don't know. They weren't. The Santa was cute. It wasn't. There was no price on it. I wasn't gonna move it. Now they did have, um, this was really nice, sleigh bells. It was $50 though. It was this expensive. Um, like I said, it just depends what you're willing to pay for things. And more postcards. These are reproductions, they look brand new. Some Christmas books. They had a lot of uh, different books, which I do like. I like looking at them. Had some basic, um, some shiny bright ornaments, not too many. These are wooden. Had photos on wooden. Those are new though, not old. And nutcracker. And these are just more reproductions. The little mice were cute. Those were plastic. Uh, they're not ceramic. And I have a couple like that. They, they were cute. They had some glass trees. The glass trees were overpriced. I did like the uh, greenware uh, plates. They were reasonably priced. Only like $14 or $16. Yep. Well, like I said, a lot of different bottle brush, but they're not old. You could tell they're new. Just depends on what you're looking for. More books. That was a really nice book. And there's some breadware.
The Rudolph book was really nice. It was a little bit older. The graphics are just so much better in the older books. As you can see, look at the, the graphics in the book. There was more books. I was just uh, thumbing through them. It was hard to see. They had Madeline Christmas. They had a Snoopy Thanksgiving plate. I'm a big Snoopy fan. They wanted $25 for that one plate, though. It was cute. More books. A lot of books in this booth. A couple of prints. A lot of books. Oh, these were all children's books here. Some people like to making displays with books and they do make good displays. This is a really cute wooden sleigh. Um, not too big. It was small. It was a child size. $85 though. Yeah, it was a toddler's sleigh. It was expensive though. They had a Dooney and Burke pocketbook here and I'm <laughs> like looking around for the price. It was in fairly good condition. I mean, It was over a hundred dollars. Just a mix here. Not like I said, a lot of boots didn't have a whole lot of Christmas, so I was a little surprised, but it just depends on what people have to sell. Had some frame pieces here. Had some Christmas flag small ones, but they were they were over ten dollars for the small ones. I don't think that was a good deal at all. These are all new items. Um, these aren't old. A lot of reproductions out there. Ooh, glassware, kitchenware here. Had a lot more um, postcards and just like reprints of scenes. The snowman was cute. Some dishware here. And pretty glasses. They had that whole set. That was reasonably priced. It was a lot of Coca-Cola glasses, if that's your thing. More kitchenware. A lot of books. And this had a lot of blueware. Had some bottle brush trees. There they are. Those were a little different. I never seen them like where they're broken up in the middle. I don't know. They were a little strange. Some caroling dolls. Those are the older dolls. They had this little tree. It was different. It was tiny, though. More kitchenware. You got your bowl, glassware here. But people do collect that.
got some records here, some old magazines and glassware. These are all children's books. They were fairly priced. I mean, they were good. Got some ceramic dogs, the planters. Those are pretty popular. You see those everywhere. Now, this was a mid-century modern dish. They went to $22 for it. It was really expensive and it was small. This is just a, a whole gamut of things. Ronald McDonald. I was looking for a price on it. There was no price. <laughs> just seeing what they were charging for it. Free prints. You had toys here and you know action figure things. You got Wonder Woman and this is your greenware. These are just um, sack towels. More glassware. More tools and signs. I really like that sign that says Glesco Inc. It was, it was just different. Had some ceramics here, some little figurines. There's your ceramic Christmas tree. Saw a few of them. Um, not a whole lot, but I did see a few. Yeah, they wanted 125 a little pricey. They usually go from 75 to 100. These were nice, these containers. And they were fairly priced. $39 is a good price for those. Those were metal. They were pretty big. I really like the big uh, tin Merry Christmas sign. It was $44. And you got the Noel popcorn, and that was $15. It was definitely reasonably priced. It was really pretty and in con good condition, too. Got some lunch boxes and some car toys here. Coca Cola. Memorabilia, some mugs. More shot glasses. They had a lot, sh lot of shot glasses. Here's a full set of um, full bowls. It was one twenty-five for the set. I don't know if that's good or not, but it was, you know, definitely older. They were cool to see. Got some kitchenware here. Some plates. This 
some ceramics and ducks and uh, just knickknacks. They had the manger scene here. A couple of ceramic pieces. Some more Christmas books. They have some prints here, some Santa prints. That was a, a cross-stitch Santa. That's a cross-stitch piece also. And that was also a cross-stitch piece. Now they advertise those as needlepoint, so I thought that was kind of funny. And you got some nice prints here. That was a cross-stitch piece also. See how they put needlepoint? $12. It was fairly priced. Got some more books. And Santa there. Some glassware. Some more cookie jars. More glassware. They had the 12 days of Christmas here, this set. More Christmas glasses. kitchen stuff, or glassware, or kitchen items. And here's some uh, framed pictures. And nothing I wanted though, nothing in my aesthetic, but they did have some. Now these were smaller framed, you got some uh, smaller pieces. They're expensive though, $29 and they were small. Raggedy Ann and Andy, they were cute. Got some wall, more ball glass jars here. A lot of fishing hooks. I thought that was cool on a board. I like the glass jars in this turn. Caddy. Got some rolling pins. More pictures in a frame. Some fishing nets, some old glass lamps, kerosene lamps. Got some beautiful dishware here. Very popular pattern.
This is a tiny Santa blow mold. It was super cute. And $50. It was a tiny one, though. Um, not a big one at all. Definitely a small blow mold. These candelabras were really, they were solid brass. They were pretty. And I really, really like those to hold the candles. Those deer, the brass deer. This had some beautiful um, tea towels and napkins. And I did pick up a set of tea towels for my door. Um, these are made in Germany. They're very well made, heavy, really decorative, fancy napkins for the holidays. Very pretty. They had all different kinds. And they had, you know, matching aprons and they had some uh, stockings that were made. And $26. They were fair, I mean, not too expensive. They had some glass trees there, some glasses. This booth had a ton of antique Christmas balls and uh, plastic candy containers. Um, it had some real putz houses. They had a small blow mold there. And these were the older uh, putz houses, you could tell. You got some girly candles. That's, they're really pretty there. It was a great booth. They had a lot there. And fun to see it all together. I hope you enjoyed this tour. I take you along so you can see. Look at some of the old advertising. I hope everybody has a great holiday season. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw.